We will have a faint sun, so all the Arctics. I will accept this sector. I will roll random races. We're going to go Vittori Sultate and Aphorians. So no Dender. What we do get, both Manufactured Luxury and Post Scarcity are available as our quantum computing. So, you know, we can do, do a heavy science run again. And researchers are available, so we can, you know, get the AI earlier if we want. Experimental tech. I'd much rather get scientific fleet, but, you know, no, no choices. Um, there's also both Xeno studies and Xeno tourism and freezer system bots available. I especially think the freezer system bots is going to be amazing. I don't really know Xeno tourism is going to be all that amazing in this type of sector. There's going to be lots of, like, ice ball planets. So I would imagine that maybe Xeno studies is going to be okay, um, because, like, the ice balls will produce lots of water. We will have water everywhere, right? There are also, well, maybe, hold on a second, there are microforges available, right? Like, those could be good with Xenotourism. Unfortunately, manufactured luxury doesn't work with it, right? I wish it would, but it doesn't. It would make sense that it would, but it just doesn't work with tourism. Well, we can get some in the end game, right? The idea would be to get some in the end game and then use it. Which would require relays, probably, if we want to do this. I don't know. It looks a bit less, you know, possible then. Although maybe, you know, if you get the if you get the science up via uh, both the labs and the things, perhaps we could do it. At both kinds of labs, both Xeno labs and uh, upgraded regular labs. But it would be fairly expensive. You see, there's all the Arctics, right? To start off with <laughs> all of the Arctic planets. We're going to have to ooh, make colonies on Arctic. So we'll start with colony on Arctic then, right? And like trade and like farm here. And you know, we'll be able to do this as well. And that too. That's not too bad, right? Layer on the two way trades, right? And then, you know, get two a year, one a year for this one. New tasks available. Uh, six different resources will be easy to trade. A remnant successful? I mean, you will probably get the successful very quickly. I would imagine you would. All right. So we got another two-way trade here. We should probably be getting this bought up. And you can choose either way. It doesn't matter. So we're going to go ahead and, you know, get the other Walton as well. There we go. Got some people available. Um, let's send them into the um, into the remnant world. And then you know we've you've traded four resources already. We want to trade those six resources quickly, if we can at all. Now we should look at that. I would want the thawing facility, please, because that would you know make this uh, a thing a reality. Here we go. Task complete. Right. It's fairly easy to do this stuff. Um, freezers and bots, of course, could be amazing. Because um, they would allow us to do uh, all sorts of things. Okay, so what's up here? Ore, huh? Hmm. We could make some chips here. Um, I don't know if I want to, though. I'd rather maybe want to make goods, because we need goods to make the people plants work. Uh, we're only in June, but we're kind of out of money. We might want to take an asteroid at some point this year. So as to not throw away our time. I mean, yeah, like... Like, I could make something here as well, right? Probably a robot, I would imagine. Huh. Yeah, like, how can we get science up as well, right? So the other question. I'll look over here maybe, right? See if we can't. There's lots of things here. I would imagine there's lots of planets that we could use. Yeah, look at it. There's like... Like we probably could do something like biomatter, biomatter... Biomatter, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. 
things in there, right? Seven science. It doesn't look too bad. Um, and the water will be probably be useful in places, right? In fact, we'll maybe be able to build a water lab on the other side as well, right? Nothing bad about that. Okay, so uh, go to October, I suppose, right? I guess. Mm. Go ahead and make a scavenger world. Uh, actually, go ahead and make goods from bots, right? That gives us our foreign mission done. Okay, let's get those import hubs, I guess. Um, four chips. We're not really going to be making chips, is the thing. We're going to be making some remnant plants successful. At least one, at the very least, right? Like, I want to make bots here. Making a successful colony there. You know, we're making additional goods now. And I could do that, but I don't think it's a good idea. I think it's a better idea to wait, get microforges, and use that to get these two to uh, also do things. There's a four-bed rune available, which we can't really take easily. Uh, should I? I think I'll just take this asteroid here. And then we'll go ahead and build this up, and then connect you in. Gonna our first remnant, right? And then I guess we'll scan somewhere. Like how good will that be, right? So, we have two free slipway relays, by the way. Right? Just saying. So we can do some shenanigans with those. We can sort of, like, connect things. I haven't reused really used, used them yet. I like prefer, like, using them as sparingly as possible, because they're free, right? They're really neat. They might be used to get a good lab up, right? To get a better laboratory than we would otherwise be able to. Or to do things like send chips from place to place, right? Maybe from here, right all the way. Although it could be better to do a robot laboratory here, right? With like two robots available already. And then we may be able to, uh, to relay this one in. I mean, that would cut off these two planets, right? That's the problem with that. But we would be able to get one, one, two, three bots in as well. Just another like five science-ish, right? And get science going quick is got to be great if we can get if we want to get early uh, labs early uh, advanced labs well right now we don't have the money for it so we should try to get the Ephorian mission so we get some money um, so how do we do that isn't that a question right I mean, we always will have those things to fix things is the beautiful part I could make more biomatter if I wanted does that even help? Only if there is actually Forge World up here, which there is not. I could get goods from the Euphorians. Do we have yeah, we have level one done, so we could get goods here. Let's have a look, right? We do not. A free in for space. Maybe I should wait with that then. Hold on, a free infraspace relay. It's stuck behind the Silthidel, so we can't get it easily. Like, that could mean getting access to this robot, for example, right easily. It also just get eight science, which would allow us to build like a Xenotourism world or something. Though I wouldn't be able to really say where. I mean, here, perhaps, right? But we would need to get the goods for it, right? If we get the goods for it, it would be okay to build Zeno Tourism here. It's quite a bit of money, really. I don't know if we can get freeze resistant bolts going. I mean, that's not bad either. In fact, we could do Water Lab then, maybe. Yeah, I mean, we get lots of two way trades out of it, right? I think we'll start with that actually. We'll start with the freezers just in bots. It's gonna be our first tech. It's gonna be a great tech because there's like water everywhere now suddenly. Like this one for example, right? You just get two-way trays all the time. And those do count as import hubs actually. So we can just build this and we get our import hub. 
Easy, 80 credits, just like that. Nice, right? All we need is another remnant planet. Well, there aren't any anymore, so... There's one here, but it's far away. That's kind of it. So we get to next year so we build the lab, right? Ooh. Yeah, I'm looking at these, these plants and like, I can get more, I can get more, I can get even more biomatter, right? So like, crazy amounts of it. You know, this one counts as a robot one. Although maybe not like that, right? Maybe we build another thing here. I like build a robot here. Yeah, I would like to get humans from here, I guess. Don't know what I do here. Oh, it's just like cutting off the earth like. I don't know about that. Maybe we just built the robot here. We get FlexiFab at some point? Yeah, we do. So, you know, that's even available. Well, the robot out here, we can do something like this, right? I can build a human down here. Yeah, it doesn't really do anything, right? Huh. I don't know about that. It's out of range, right? I'd like to get you, right? So you would want to make a robot. You have a bunch of users, so we just do this and then we have your mission complete. I want this mission complete, really, is the, is the crux of the matter, right? So we can get another one, maybe. We can get one for, like, build a lab or something, right? Improve your yearly science output or, you know, whatever they want. Usually it's some kind of uh, some kind of thing like that. Whoa. Also, we can use a relay here, right? One of our starting relays. For now, though, we'll get, you know, more two-way trades. Invent two technologies. There we go. Right, that sounds good. Four more bots or four more, four more import hubs is way too many, right? That's so hard to get all the time. Let's so make four robots. That should be an easy one. We kind of want to make a bunch of robots, right? So I should try to get... We kind of can't that, get all that, so we shouldn't really try for that. At the same point though, I wouldn't want to try for him. If we could do it. That's one extra point to science. I don't know, maybe you could have the Xeno studies, remnant primordial, right? Oh, look at that. All these things flying everywhere. It's always so nice to see. All right, we'll use one of our free relays here to sort of circumvent that. All we need is you to get us, uh, to be successful, and then you know we'll get access to even more. Also, we can even build even more biomatter here if I want to, right? And I might want to at some point. Um, first, though, I think we want some water science as well. Maybe it's too expensive. We're almost out of money, right? Only 58 left. We're only eight years in, right? This is going very, very well. Get a two-way trade here. I think that's valuable enough to just take. Like we could make some some robot or something, right? Like we'll make some here certainly. We'll have a look up here maybe. I don't know. I think the techs are more important to get first, right? And then we'll get we'll worry about getting robots. Shouldn't be too hard to make ourselves a bunch of robots. Like that's kind of what we want to do. Anyway, yeah, like for example, over here, right? I mean, there's also something to be said for building one of those like little lab things, but at the same time, right? Like, if I look at this, I'm like, oh, wait, water, 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 three times water, right? Triple lab, kind of insane. We get two way trades, we get everything. That's good, we need some chips as well, but still. Right. 
I'd have to look in this corner. I think if you were successful, you would get Prosperous Plan as well here. Or how good that is? I don't know. Uh, if we get Gene Adjustment, we kind of advance the tech tree, right? We might not need uh, Xena Studies, actually. We'll get Gene Adjustment, I think. Just a classic, right? Because that's like the 71. I could even go for Mass Lensing as well, right? Um, it would allow us to lensify uh, asteroids and planets, and lenses would allow us, to, you know, build those relays. And the beautiful part about this is that we can go to infraspace mastery instantly. And we don't have to build; we have to research slipstream relay, so it saves you twenty points of science. Your relays, regular relays, will be you know less uh, amazing, but you know. We get a free extra one as well, right? So we kind of use our sort of like not so optimal relays instead of the original ones. So yeah, tell me what you think. All right, we can safely build this, right? So we have the 70 income, so I'm like, you know what? Let's get some more science, why not? We'll get up to six science now. We're at 14 of 16, right? Should build something cheap. I could build a colony here and you know, connect those two. I don't know how good that would be. Not extremely, I think. All the two-way trays, right? They're so nice. Freeze resistant bots, right? If you get it on like a cold sector, you know, cold sector actually helps you. It's a big boon, actually. It's like pretty much a ma major help. All right, let's have a look down here, because I want to know what this is. Hopefully another remnant, but it might not be. Yeah, it's not. It's like the problem here is getting chips in here is going to be difficult, so we're going to have to make some chips. We can't make more robots forever, right? Wish I could, but I can't. I, mean, I want to look at what's over here as well, right? Yeah, I would love more robots, though, is the thing. Do we just want to bleed this? Because we can get something insane here. I'll do it. We'll get chips in some way later, right? Maybe like microforges. Probably microforges, I would imagine. Would make the most sense anyway. Robots. I want to make some robots. And those microforges will also build us a good lab, right? If we want to anyway. We need like one more science tech, right? We could just get like Xeno studies. And that would get us our inventory mission complete. Feels a bit iffy to get Xeno studies just for the inventory mission, no? Well, anyway, let's get this. And then you know, you know, you know what we want, right? Has a very large amount of water here, so <laughs> I'll take all that and use it. And you know what? We could go even further. And I should because it will complete the mission. And then, you know, we should just get uh, quantum computing first, obviously, right? Get that science going even faster. A good way of doing this, right? A better way, I think. There is. Right? We can do this at the very least. I like so many of these, right? We should be even able to get. Um, I don't know if this is in range of each other. I'd imagine it's not. We could get wave augmentation instead and make that make that in range of each other. It would be able to get you know better a uh, better result there. But I think we want quantum computing. I can always take wave walk later uh, if I want that you know from back then. 
Uh, I'll go ahead and take this plant now, I think. We'll get you know, all this water in here as well. Why not? We'll send out a human there, why not? Get an additional point. And then we can take the quantum computing now. Got a 16 science, we get the Vittori tech discount. We should have taken a cheaper tech, so we could have gotten quantum computing with a discount. I don't think. We'll get AI plus with a discount, I guess. Improve your Liri science output by eight? We might want to do that, actually. Over two pairs of two tries? I think this will happen first. Or two forge worlds successful. We kind of don't have many forge worlds, is the thing. Seven pairs is so many, though. Know. Can we find some forge worlds to bring it successful? Like this one, right? Will become successful with like a good output and stuff. I think we'll be able to do it for this one at the very least. I don't know where the other one would be, that's the thing. Maybe this one, but it doesn't have enough outputs. Maybe this one. I'll try it. I know we will succeed, but we'll try. Right, uh, people producing plant here, right? Go ahead and have a look here. Uh, yeah, we maybe we get a free habitat, I think. That sounds like a decent deal to me. Um, as long as we can get some food from somewhere. I mean, this one will produce additional food, right? And the habitat will maybe help in making you successful as well. Oh, well, you're in range, that's fine. Also, if we don't take anything, we can also always take the money. We can also take the science here, right? Just build infrabase and stuff for, for it. Alright, all we need is a uh, forge world upgrade, I guess. New technology available. Yeah, so we could get extreme injurization now. Um, yes, AI is you know, cheaper and we can get it early if we want to. We get mass lensing, right, which will advance us as well. We could always get that, you know, in, in the back. We could take this, but then we can't use researchers. As well, you know, if I take, you know, these, we could get this mission really easily. That's the thing I'm looking at, right? Like, how can I do this mission quite easily? And one way we can do it is with that. And that's just, you know, kind of the amazing thing. So I think we'll do it. We'll get extreme neutralization first. We might want wave walk as well, right? Either right this or that. And we might want wave walk instead is the thing, right? But then we need both, right? This is out of range just, right? Yeah, we need wave off to make this work, but you know, I'll take it anyway and fix my thing later with wave og. Maybe we'll just get the wave og. It takes only a year extra, right? And we'll advance into here. And we'll get the forge bolts anyway. It makes a lot of sense to get wave augmentation first and then self-hosting AI and then extreme miniaturization. Like it gives us the ability to get Xenotourism in the very late game if we want it. I don't think we want it though, is the thing. So we don't need to, you know, take this, but if we take this and we can't take that, that's the thing. Same the other way around, right? Because we'll increase the maximum range of slipways first. We can also take economic zones as well, as our like back to your tech. Like wave augmentation is nice here because we can do this uh, this particular slipway here. So the idea was to get a habitat in the thing, yeah. First off we'll do this. Long range connection up. There's like two sign slabs doing eight each, but we'll get some more later. But for now, we'll 
go ahead and get you up. We should get to some more. I mean, we could get some more now, right, with this. Or we could get the habitat. We don't necessarily need the habitat, actually. We can make this work without. So in that case, I mean, I should just take science, right? Or money. This works. Takes us some stun time. We should also like, look at our income, right? We're at 23 out of 24. So yeah, microfortress could be nice now. So we like to try to stick to this number for another year or so, right? Sort of like use some asteroids now, right, to get some money back. And then this year we build a bunch of microforges. To like upgrade some forge worlds, I guess. We can get one upgraded, certainly. We get a second one here to. Wouldn't be bad, right? To take them, we would get additional chips everywhere quite easily. It's kind of hard to get all these chips. Just basic microforges first, and then go for the science upgrade. I'll take the biggest bunch for microforges first, because they'll make lots of money too, right? That's, that's the nice part about it too. We'll be able to get this microforge here, for example, and just you know. Successful, prosperous, successful, right? Just like that. Kind of helps it a lot. The idea is going to be, you know, let's build another one like over here-ish. Right. We get to October. And then we get to build whatever you want here. Robots, probably, if I were to think about it. Um, robots would make some sense there, actually. Uh, we could get a robot lab as we want, uh, if we wanted. I don't know if I want a double robot lab. Maybe just a singular one is fine. We could build goods as well, right? And that would make maybe more sense. Because lots of goods means, you know, we could send them all into colonies later and we could make uh, legendaries out of them. But you know, the similar could be said for like lots of robots everywhere. People as robots as well, right? Like, it makes some sense. I think we'll go ahead and make some goods. We got the self-hosting AI. That'll help. All right, I think it's time to use the second relay here. going to get the... I think we're going to get the, the food from here. Yeah, you have pass pos shortages. It's kind of annoying. We have like three things with like we'll, we'll get pass shortages if I don't do this in the other order. Ugh. All right, you win. This is too important. Or should he go from there? I don't know. Just do that. This one will, will just bleed. I don't. I can't solve it. You know, at least we stop one of them from from being annoying. And then we we'll use the second relay here. What we got to uh, get that. Like uh, I don't know how many prosperous plants that was like 
two. <laughs> At the same time, seems good. Okay, so now what do we do? We want science, right? We got 21, but we can get some more. Like what do we not have yet? Like robot lab, for example, right? Have a look down here first. Just this one thing in the way, right? It's like an asteroid too, so we have to use it. Right, better be worth it. I mean, yeah, I guess. Right. On a prosperous planet, I guess it's worth it. We ought to like move some things and people in there, but you can't. can't. That's not entirely true, right? We have flexi farm too. Uh, can we use that for stuff? I mean, yeah, right. Totally. Lots of things we can flexi farm. So we should really take it. It's really, really good. Right. Like additional goods everywhere, right? We're not there yet because we'll definitely pop prosperous on some planets, right? We might want to actually just calm down a bit and see if we can't. Oh, second. Right. No, we can't go back further. Mm, yeah, because I placed this kind of off awkwardly. It's like a lab here will not be able to connect to that colony now. I kind of want it to, right? Because I could get an extra, extra robot. You know, isn't it just fine to just get a single robot? I think it's fine to get a single robot at this point. We got five designs from it too, right? Like, there we go, right? Mad, is Microsoft just starting to get it to seven? Sure, we'll do that too. And then I guess we'll get like, get seven more robots, I guess. Start with like that, I guess. And then we'll build a flexi fab in order to uh, let's get this one as well. And the income from it is so much that I kind of want to do, them, even though you know they're prosperous and we could maybe get some mission for them. Just solve all the planets, right? Just like that. It's a very sort of weirdly looking empire there, but all right. Uh, so we want a lab studying chips, right? How do we do that? First, we get some water. All right. So we have some chips to study. Then we'll go make some more ore, I think, so we get some more chips. We could just directly make them, but I don't think we want to do that. We want to get ore. We essentially want to get ore. Okay, there's ore here. Which that should do, giving us a lamb. I'm pretty sure how to make robots here, but we'll figure it out. Make a colony there actually, it'll be fine, it'll work. Uh, microforges, right? Microforges everywhere. Okay, we'll start with one over here. I'm gonna sort of creep towards that area. Yeah, I'll cut that off. I don't want to cut them off, I think. Put it on this side actually. I don't know what we need to do to make the lab work is this, right? Oh. Hold on a second. Alright. That and then that. There we go. Laboratory mission complete. We have 34 science a year. Now we have lots of science. We have loads of science. Okay, we need bots for the silicate to get the benefit there. Well, we can make lots of bots here if I want to. 
don't know if it makes a lot of sense, but it kind of makes no sense. Well, we could do it, right? We could also just look at some of our goods production facilities and see if we can't upgrade them with uh, repurposing to get a bot here and there. Right, this one, for example. It'll make a world prosperous if I did it. Just get six income as well, right? So it's worth doing. We can use it. No real other locations, it seems, where we can just do that that easily. This one just wants some ore, right? So we can just like, look for it a bit. Like, here we go, right? It's hard part is getting people in there, but you know, we'll figure that out somehow. <laughs> somehow we'll figure that out. I don't know. We can also make it in microforges if we want to, right? More bolts for microforges if we want. I don't know, this one needs like imports and exports, right? right, right, right. Uh, how do we do that? I don't know. Infraways probably. And then we can make bolts in microforges and do that. I don't know. Like the thing that would be greatest here would be hyperlane, really, but we can't get that easily. It's like if we use a bolt here as well, right? We also get like uh, if we just use this bolt, we get an extra one, right? So I could just make goods here, which would just use up the bolt, and we become we proc successful and get an extra one. If that ain't bad, um, the goods are of course not very useful yet. So you want like food and stuff, right? I just gotta get a farm here that would work too. Uh, that's not a farm that uses a bolt though. That's a farm that uses biomatter. Oh, well. We could make a jungle farm here. I don't know how we'd get this one in, but the idea is to use a, a thing here as well. All these plants that are bleeding, which are annoying, right? Resource shortages, yeah. We're getting so much past shortages is the problem, right? We're taking so much happiness penalty. It's kind of not very nice. There's lots of ways we can fix things, but the best way would be just to make some bots. To make some darned bots. To make some bots, we need stuff. To make some stuff, we need other stuff. I don't know what to do to make the robot work. I guess we do this. Sort of. Just one bot. It just goes so slowly, right? We'd just be spending like a half an hour to make those bots. Wait, can't we just get the version? And this also sills the tech. We'd be paying through the nose for it. But hmm, it might be worth getting, right? How much is economic zones actually in terms of income? Okay ish, but not great, right? Uh, I get tourism, right? But not much to be done with it. We could get like mass lensing in order to get infra space right now. That would be not bad, right? We would get, not get a discount for it, but we get infraspace, and infraspace could maybe help us get bots and things. At the very least, right, it should be able to help us get more robots. If I infraspace this one, for example, over here, we would get an additional one. We could infraspace you back then, right, get another one. And we could even infraspace it here, right, we could try to like squeeze it in so we get like a multi uh, thing here so one over here one over there we'd even get a water back too right it's like super many two-way trades i think we'll go for it uh so where's the mass lensing and then we'll go in for space mastery and then we'll go stream splitting as well Right, the idea would be to sort of do this. Which would get us, you know, two-way trades. And then that would be doable for no more.
as far as you know now we'll be able to fix things up for permanently which is very nice for example we can make another robot over here with a uh, one of these little things where are more locations where we can make some more robot right not many kind of got everything under control and successful and all it's kind of nice Like everything's going prosperous here, that's nice. I just do this and then, you know, <laughs> both of them will become prosperous at that point. And maybe not this one though, this one's having a bit of a problem now. Because we'll never have enough neighbors. I don't know, we can just send in another robot, right? That'll be fine. Use people as robots, send in a person, that'll work too. Can we, like, get some... <laughs> uh, what do we do here, right? Get some more robot, I guess. And we just need two more, right, at this point. We're not that far off. I think we can get one more here out of this. Although, no, not entirely. We can get up to two or three more if we really want to. We can get, like... A robot going if we get a robot going in here right or a good going in there right with the flexi fab then that's one partner you're going to be a second partner very easily we can send uh, we can make a infra way here to get you uh, your uh, your chit your ore and then potentially we could make uh, one of the uh, microforges to get a chip in here as well and then we would have you know all the things that we need also we could make some science if we want to right do we want to make some science is a question as well perhaps right I might want to connect this in there right what else could be science science an extra robot if we got an extra robot anywhere near it we don't We're not yet, we're sciencing water, we're sciencing biomass, we're sciencing chips and robots. We're not sciencing ore, but ore is too important. We're using ore, right? We're using it. We're not sciencing it, we're using it. It's so like, I could uh, connect, uh, I could also connect some people, right, if I wanted to, but they're not available. And there's some here, right? Like we could do something like, you know, build an infraway here and then connect two people into the into the into the four bear ruin, which will conclude with science by quite a bit actually. We're up to three. We get thirty seven. Like the question is like what how many techs do we really need still, right? We get two hundred and four two hundred and fifty four science still. Um From which we can probably afford like one, two, three, four. Four text cost fifty is two hundred. Six there's like six good text still. So yeah, we could get a little more. And you know, using these people will actually make sense because you know it it does. It does make money, right? Actually it makes six here. And we ought to use an asteroid somewhere I think you already have the Vittori disc tech discount right oh my goodness sick. slightly off kilter Oh, right, we don't have the uh, stream splitting yet, that's why. All right, that makes some sense. Hold on then. All right. Um, 
He has the people in there, makes sense, right? I we can send some in here as well, I'll get a two-way trade up. Let's get those robots first though, because I want them. Chips, right? Chips, chips, chips. I'm gonna get both before the end of the year though. to get both of them at the end of the year is a problem, right? kind of need money. And there's a good way to get money, which is just that, right? Yeah, this is... This, there's skill download in there, though. How do we get skill download? We don't have any Euphorian money-making tech in the late game. That's a problem, right? Like, skill download would be so crazy, though. Because we would get, like, so much resources that we could get, like, so many of those legendary planets with. But I think we want to keep getting skill download. I think we want to keep that. I don't want to take the money there. Let's go a little slower, right? Not much slower, but a little. I right, we'll take... Destroyed, or will we just get another planet? We'll just get another planet here. We'll make robots here, just you know, that'll finish the mission, right? Yeah, we are finally enough robots. Enough with the robots. Let's get those two way trades now. <laughs> Ten more robots. I guess we have to, or we need to get another lab, but I don't want to. Uh, I'll worry about the robots later, right? We'll make some probably with like skill up facilities. Okay, that's those done. Uh, we made robots for you as well. I have like 86 science, right? We should be able to get stream splitting now as well. Like, send that in, get like more. <laughs> 37 times like just five or something. Yeah, that's way, way more than we need. We could even get like a space time inversion if we want to, but like the problem with that is that it's a bit expensive. Um, oh yeah, we can do this if I want to. Let's save you not having to colonize that. Prefer not having to colonize things if I have to. I mean, you know what? We'll take space time inversion because some slipways are real cheap. And, you know, we could save some time by doing them earlier. Hmm. We can also just take Luxury first. Uh, that will make more money, I think. As long as we have Prosperous Forge modes everywhere. All of our Forge modes are, like, successful, not Prosperous. Hopefully we can make them Prosperous just like that, right? Should be doable anyway. I don't see why not. We should be able to get some luxury. Luxury will be very nice. Um, Cause that'll make money too, right? I just build this here. Yeah, that makes us some money, right? If that makes us the money we might want. Skill download as well, right? Could be, could be. Um, No, repurposing here. Like I'm counting, right? I'm counting to six. See if we can't get many plants to six things. Because any plants with six things will become legendary. So maybe we just 
can use some food, right? That's a pretty good idea. That's one two-way trade. I'm also counting this mission, right? Because it makes makes some sense to do it because it makes text cheaper and all that. Skill down will be so good. I don't want to get the money. I can help it. I might have to, but I'm holding on hope. I am hoping we cannot have to. Uh, but we do not have to, basically. So right now we do this here. This food here, I right? do want to right, connect this in. It does make some sense to do so. I don't think we go for a version. We can't quite the money for that. And I could with this what? Like, skill up facilities will be kind of crazy, so. We'll use our money on projects, right? That's what we're gonna do. Oh, we're kind of lacking the chip for this. But it's okay. We connected in the food, I guess. We'll be able to get this with a robot as well. Which would you make you prosperous, right? Would that be worth doing? I don't know. Not yet. Because we'll go to another size. I don't want to increase my size, uh, empire size yet. So can we get more here, right? Hmm. Can be difficult. We have a good available as well. Can we send that somewhere? We could try to send it over here, but it would be quite difficult to get it in there. Like maybe like over here. Like it wants six things, right? That's the problem. We can get one from over there as well. I could do this. Be quite the long distance is the thing. It was like some good asteroids still, but it was one here, right? Yeah. Six. One hundred fifty-five income like that, right? Not all bad. Um, let's go down that, right? We want that. Uh, can we get to October? I still want like something here as well. I want to just scout. How much is this to buy? Eight, right? That's too slightly too much for it. Kind of annoying, but also we're lacking biomatter up there, and I don't know of a way to get it. And there's a primordial. We should probably use that. And then a bunch of infrawave, I suppose. <sighs> that was with, with like screen splitting. It would be we'll make one very expensive connection here, I suppose. It's like one, two, and then there, and one, two, right? We'll send two people and we'll send one here and then we'll just need a bot and then everything's fixed. I suppose that's going to be the plan. Uh, I think we'll just take this first because we want to take the 32. Right. Which one do we want to add in first? This one, right? Eighty-seven, huh? 169. I need to take like. I don't know if we're ready to take. Uh, I think we should take it anyway, right? It's only 20, 36 income though. It's not that much. We're missing out on. Like, what does this do for time purposes, right? Like, the problem is like we have only 169 a year. Which is not quite enough to afford to do this. Um, it's like you spend this easily, right? You can get another 142 and you, you spend this easily. So, I guess we don't yet, right? Hmm. 
we kind of maybe want to do. Let's get ourselves some. Uh, What's the word? Um, some biometer from over here, right? Like, why don't we build that construction that I had in mind? There's energy here as well if I want it. But I want the skill download, I think. It's, it's going to be kind of great if I can get that. With post scarcity as well, right? The thing is, who isn't two way trading yet is the thing, right? We have two way trades going on like nearly everywhere. I'm not too sure how to create new ones. That's the thing the Aphorians want us to do. Because, like, everyone's already two way trading. So, I can easily create more two way trades. It's like already everyone's doing it. All the planets here are two way trading. This is trading with like everything here, right? This one is stacked, this one is nearly stacked. We got like four science over there suddenly, right? We got like humans everywhere trading. There's like a bot here, which could make a good, I suppose, right? Which could go in here. Like bots everywhere as well, right? But the bots won't really work. I don't know. Right? Bots will go in here. That's what we buy much actually. Huh. Fancy. This seems good right, to do. Might be too expensive. Let's see. So the idea is going to be. You know, ah, this is problematic actually. We can't do it this way. I have to do that one last because otherwise it won't work. Oh, we can maybe do it in one go. Can we do it in one go? Be nice if we could, it's expensive and boring, but I might be able to send you all the way up there. Hmm. I can't quite do it, right? Oh, it's only 38, it's not that much. Alright, I mean, that's not bad, right? We got one more two-way trade out of it, but I don't know how we get seven. Also, before we hit January, I think we'll just take one of these decks, right? We'll just take both scarcity anyway, to get like the extra money and stuff. Yeah, we're paying through the nose for it, but it's fine. We have enough science. We have 37 science a year. We will science everything, so it's not really a problem that we run out of science. We can do robots as people, actually. Well, let's do that. There's actually eight income as well, right? Robots as people. We should be able to do some shenanigans now. Like this one, for example. Two way trade, right? Also, we just got like three two way trades. That's kind of nice. Robots as people, huh?
What's all the skill up facility, right? Skill download, right? 25 for it. Getting even more stuff, right? We can get some more ore here. Which we could potentially use to make more things. Like robots would be very good with it. Like I would imagine, right? Making robots is a good idea. I don't know, right? this thing be doing? I mean, we could do this and that, right? And then that. That will get us two-way trades and stuff. I would imagine, right? We'll uh, level this one up first, I think. I don't really know how, though. Like, this was cutting this off, right? We can't get there. Oh, we can drop it from there, right? Water gets sent in here, and then we do skill up facilities here, which creates an additional robot for you, which creates a two way trade, right? And then you know we can do like we got send, send one here, but if I want to, I don't know if I want to. Uh, I definitely want to send one there, this creates a successful partner for this thing. This just needs an import or export, right? So, how do we do that? Oh, we're gonna do this. We're also out of money. Might be a slight problem. that as well, right? We can make, make a forge here if we want to. Uh, we can also do this still. Connect you in just in time to... We might need to make that connection then we can get the uh, legendary as well. I haven't found this plant actually. We'll get, we'll get sold. Okay, so first is going to be. I don't even know. What are we sending what now? No, we're sending this in there to make a legendary. Right. Makes sense. Well, we don't necessarily need to, but. That's that as well, right? We can get regular relay and you know send you in there as well. I don't know how to get it to six though. We got people's robots, right? Or robots as people. Well, we can get people's robots as well if we want to. Right, just do that or something. I don't know. <laughs> we can get it seven two way trays, right? Then we need to make more robots, but that's probably going to be very simple. Just make skill up facilities everywhere, and we get more robots. It seems, you know, not all that. Oh, robots as people, there we go. We another prosperous planet. Why not? Uh, I think I'll make goods here, though. So we'll get, like, microchip things and stuff. Uh, can we use this microchip for anything? Not really right, but you know, we can uh, just squeeze it in here, I think.
we might finally be in the case where we might want some some slipway some averted slipways. Maybe not though, because we still have, you know, all these uh, bonuses we can get. We have like robots as people, not people as robots yet. Uh, right. People as robots, right? Go there. People as robots. I don't even know where we're gonna send things. You're already bouncing along. I can get some, some in here, right? So what are we sending where? People as robots, robots as people. Uh, so like, how can we get... With people as robots, why are you not even... I don't even know... I would imagine it's got something to do with the fact that we don't have any robots here. I mean, that's easily solved. That would be a two- oh yeah, we don't really need a two-way train. We just need more robots. I don't even make more. I mean, this thing could, right? But it shouldn't, right? That's the thing. But we should make uh, repurposing here instead. Giving us more people here. We should send the places if we can, like here. Makes a bit of sense, right? Send people to places. I don't know if we need to pay, take space-time inversion. It might not be worth doing. We need to make more robot. Uh, we ever have enough. not. Um, we have people as robots and robots as people, right? So we can just scale facility and get a robot. Apparently isn't instantly sent somewhere. It's kind of crazy. Well, we can send it here. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> right. We can improve the, uh, the these things and build one here and make more robot, but I can take the... I mean, that might just work. Uh, it'll be kind of silly, but it will work. People as robots, robots as people, and universal miniaturization all come together to create some kind of shenanigans. I mean, yeah, like, who needs anything else, right? I don't. I don't even know what's happening anymore. Is that prosperous? I need more imports and exports. You even still need more. Like, you've got like five. I guess not enough. You need six, right? I'm ah, fine. But we don't do that. Have it your way. So, like, if I build like a microforge over here, right? And like get this tech over here that says, uh, yeah, universal miniaturization already got it. And we get this like this like fab here. We need to we need to finagle this. This is going to take a while. No, no, no not, not that long. We make some robots here because you know you get two-way trades and stuff. We can make two. I don't know what to do with the second one, though. <laughs> like, we have only, like, one here. That's the problem. Like, it could make more, right? With another microchip. But it'll take too long, I think, to get all the robots in here. And this is okay, I think. We only have skill-up facilities. Do you have anywhere we don't have skill-up facilities yet that can make another robot? 
or something that's not like prosperous yet that could like, get a robot somehow. Can make this prosperous, right? We also have a tech to make things into forge worlds if we want to, right? But you can still become prosperous. You need another successful partner. I mean, won't that like almost instantly happen if we do something like this? Not quite yet. Ah, oh, you need like a a colony to send something to, I guess. And what we could just do, right, with regards to that, is just put it a little bit higher up. So this colony over here, this robot plant over here, can send. Right? And then, you know, we get that as well. I don't know, right? That sounds good. Everything is prosperous and legendary again, so this might be a good score. <laughs> Would imagine it should be. I have another couple prosper plants there. Maybe we should wait with that. I don't know. We won't have we won't have missions to make Earth like some ice balls prosperous. So, also oh, we have twelve percent pass shortages, right? That's the only thing that, that sort of hurts a bit. Some of you have happiness from technology. Where does that come from? Oh, luxury, right? Manufactured luxury. I'm like, wait, where does that come from? Where is that coming from? Also, I have to sort of obstructed that slightly. It's kind of annoying. I'll deal with it. We'll just build another infoway or something. We kind of have to, right? Kind of build it there and then there. If you want to send in that second luxury. I might want to. I might want to just look into making more legendaries and making more robots. There's never enough robots. So yeah, how do we make more robots? <laughs> It's like, how do I make more? <laughs> I've only got like 30 or 40 or something. How do I make more of them? Does that do anything? It doesn't, so we shouldn't pay for it. We can lensify things. I didn't even realize that. You even have that option, lensify. It's like, I haven't even used that ever. I mean, we've used the extension of it, right? I think once another import or export, I mean, green stuff, sure, but you're already exporting to like the three places that's wanted over here. It's like extra water and stuff over here as well that we could export. Like, we could find like a place that has like four or five things in it, then we could maybe get it to six, right? But I mean, you have four things in it. But it's getting kind of difficult because we kind of block things off a bit with infraways. I don't want to be bothered with like trying to get this optimally though. It's kind of be a bit of a chore, isn't it? Uh, we can get like a... If we get another bot in here... Or human. Bot or human, they're the same, right? Although all our humans are used, so that's neat, I guess. It makes some sense that we did that it would be. Also, <laughs> we can connect this in there. Some extra shenanigans. Send in a bot instead of a human, make you prosperous. How good is that? I don't know. Uh, you tell me. Like you just, just you just need a partner, right? Send in one more thing, yeah. be kind of useless wouldn't it it would not be that useless it would make a prosperous planet it would just take like three months to do so like how do we make like three robots here like these right people into robots and robots and ice and people into robots and robots into robots let me just do that sort of thing People in the robots. People in the robots. 
And then we use robots as people and people as robots. <laughs> what? <laughs> there we go. Done. Make nine more robots. Stop making me make more robots. Stop it. I will decline these missions. We only have like six months anyway. Whoa. So one thing we could do is make water here. I wonder how good that is. We can make like water and get a two-way trade. Get another two-way trade. I didn't do something like that. Could you successful? We got like three more successful plants out of it, right? Wait, hold on a second. We can do more than that. We can get space time aversion here. We can actually afford it at this point. Might as well get some extra months. Right. One other thing we could do here as well with aversion. Like lens of eye here. Build two more averted slipways. Let's make our money. Uh, make make me uh, make uh, use up our money, right? So like we can make one more relay or two more relays, I think. Like how much does relays cost? Like one month, right? So we can do like two more relays or something. So if we could get enough people and robots in here, we could do do a thing here. Do you have any? You're already used there. Like this one, right? Like how do we get? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, about that. <laughs> it's a bit difficult, isn't it? Getting water into there or people. Uh, maybe this one here then? I mean, you can still produce more. So could you, but you know, you're not near. Oh, you could. Oh, this might do it. In fact, we can just do this. Wow, okay, that's good. And then we can do this and make a skill-up facility. And there we go, a legendary planet, just like that. In just, in no time at all, zero time. We got a legendary planet. Using a skill-up facility and, you know, some shenanigans. I love me some shenanigans. We can even make an inverted slipway here and send in a robot. And then we just need one more thing, which could be just another robot. Which we can do with a normal slipway. Uh, an inverted slipway is too expensive, we're out of money otherwise. We do get another legendary planet. And maybe we want to do a normal slipway here then as well. Because we're paying more for the averted one. Right, 28 more. Can we get more in that last month? Can we get one more averted slipway out of this if we save up the money? Or does it really not really matter? If I send out one more thing here, does it? No, it doesn't. It needs to send out two more things, can it? Send out one thing like that, right? Or like so, 23, 46. I think it can't really, it's not really able to. So what are you? You also need to send out one more thing. Can you, are you able to? How much time does this cost? Two months is way too long. Uh, yeah, you can't either. There's no way we can get something to you this quickly enough. We can build an infraway, but we wouldn't have the money to, right? We just want... You can just build one slipway, really. That's about it. So we've got to be careful with where we built that one little last, slip, last little slipway. Or we can build two cheaper ones, right? If we have two real cheap ones still. I would imagine that does not exist anymore, though. Like, these are kind of stuck in where they are. And they could make more robots and things, right? There's some, some that I don't have skill-ups yet and all that. So they could send more water into places and you know, make some more legendaries somewhere, I suppose. At some point, but uh, we're out of time and out of money. <laughs> I mean, we used up everything, which is really good, right? That's sort of what you want to do. We're not, we're not, we're not complaining. I mean, this was a good idea, right? Just get like three uh, planets there. Uh, could we maybe do something here with like... Uh, yeah, we could. One, two, three, four, five... Yeah, we could. Repurposing. That, that's it. Boom. Legendary. Legendary. All right! <laughs> oh, 30,000! <000. laughs> 40,000. Okay, well... No culture, 42,000. All right. 